Shalom, shalom, peace and blessings. Thank you for uh, joining in on my Babylon review, September 8th, 2022. Um, we got some things to talk about. Excuse me if I sound funny. Got my smile fixed. <laughs> A little bit better, but I got to get used to it. Um, there are some headwinds coming. And you must prepare as much as possible increasing your faith increasing your um gfm gold frankincense and myrrh for those who know who've been watching the videos if you haven't go back gfm gold frankincense and myrrh uh that's your faith praise and worship and stand in righteousness and holiness uh having a garment in righteousness and holiness um russia said they're not supplying nobody if there is a price cap on their goods and services. What can the West do with that? They can't stop a nation from transacting business. Now, they were able to do that with other nations. When other nations want to have their own contracts, they was able to do that with them. But you can't do that with Russia. They're not playing. They, they, they're not playing. I don't understand. I don't understand why the leaders don't have wise men to understand what's going on. I guess the scripture is true. <laughs> what happened to the wise men of Babylon? They're not very smart. They don't understand that. You, can't you cannot stop Russia from transacting business in the world. In fact, they looking to buy weapons from North Korea. And that, my friend, is another red flag. Because if they find out that, if, if, if the West find out that Russia is buying weapons from North Korea, I guarantee you the United States will do something to harm North Korea. You can bet on that. And North Korea will respond. <clears throat> um, When we start seeing the infighting in the United States um, and our government is distracted, that's when Russia will go forward with hitting uh, command centers like they said. Okay, That's coming. <clears throat> there must be a limited nuclear war first before the mark of the beast comes. Before you get the CBDCs out and rolling about, okay? Yes, they're ready to bring the reports uh, to Congress for the central bank digital currency, but they must have a crisis first for it to be implemented. Remember, it will be partly weak and partly strong. The old system will still be working as well as the transition into the new system, okay? The vaccine is not the mark of the beast. The BRICS nations, Brazil, Russia, India, China, South America, plus um, like Kazakhstan, Tajikistan, uh, those other places are utilizing the MERS system. Okay, the MERS system is like the SWIFT system. It's just the international uh, checking and uh, savings account. For these different nations. They're using the Russian. Uh, the Asian Pacific Bank system. Of the MERS system. Okay. They're using it. Europe is fragmented. And they're going to keep printing credit. Like crazy. Because they have no funds. Gas is cut off. From Russia. Germany is going to be angry. Germany is the king of the north. They will push at Egypt. The king of the south. Um, Iran and Egypt, Iran, Egypt, Morocco, um, Libya, um, put Ethiopia are all in a agreement on trade and commerce. That's their influence of commerce and trade. And they will be led by Iran pushing towards Israel. Israel will get help from Germany and the European Union. And that will bring out uh, uh, the dragons of Arabia because of 
uh, because of the uh, push by Turkey to go into Greece. So, it's going to look like everybody that's attacking Israel, which and they will be, but Turkey will be focusing on going into Constantinople, okay? So, it will be a conglomerate fighting over the security of Israel, okay? Um, because Israel may have the agreement to get, well, well, Israel may move to have the oil that they found off of um, the Gaza Strip, the West Bank. If they take that oil and that tanker's in operation and they have the agreement, that is going to be a lifeline for Germany and for the European Union. Okay? <clears throat> Excuse me. The United States, we got major problems. Floods, er, uh, floods, fires. Um, we had some trembling earthquakes, but nothing real serious yet. Um, and it's coming. It's going to come when they divide the land of Israel, when they have the two-state agreement. But they have to remove Israel first uh, from out of the, I mean, they have, to, they have to remove Iran first out of the way. After the limited war, we'll have a false peace deal uh, with in the Middle, middle East. Then you will have the rebuilding of the third temple. And during that time, you will have the mark of the beast. And it will be two systems going on, okay? Real money and credit. The real money system is what they'll be using for the temple. Gold and silver. You can't, you will not be able to, it will not be allowed to go into the temple with anything other than gold and silver. Now, they can use a digital transaction for gold and silver because yes there is digital transactions you can have a mastercard that you can use your mastercard just as just like it was gold and silver in your back pocket okay that is available i used to uh sell a program i used to have a business um called more gold um which in, we use uh, transaction we use the transaction in gold transact in gold uh using uh the pay system let me see if i still got a card that was one of the cards right there it's no longer available i don't recommend it anymore but it was there now they changed over to what's called free bay uh it's all right but it's not it's not what it used to be um but anyway i digress um, Israel don't want Iran to have that deal. The deal is off the table. The deal is out the door. I told you that was coming. It's out the door. Even if they sign something, it's still out the door. Iran is uh, in the crosshairs of, of Israel. Now, the next shoe that we're looking to drop is whatever happens after the Passover at the end of this. I mean, not Passover. Uh... <laughs> Um, Rosh Hashanah at the end of this month, okay? I think it's on September 25th, September 25th, the Feast, Trump, Feast of Trumpets, okay? Um, yeah. Her Majesty is looking frail. I told you, once Her Majesty is out the way, that the Catholic Church is, they in there. Because the King, uh, uh, the king that's coming next, Prince Charles, um, he all about the Catholic Church. He ready, okay? He's already in the hidden hand, the pockets, okay? He already ready for the Catholic Church to come in. And the, and the Church of England will be on the fritz, okay? It's going to be real bad infighting going over there. And that is going to spark Northern Ireland uh, to uh, really pull away from the UK. And Liz Trust has got a wallop of problems on her hands. We'll see what they do. We'll see how the European Union will stay together. We know that they're not going to stay together because it's going to be partly weak and partly strong. Okay? That was my 10-minute Babylon review. I will see you on the next one. And I hope you stay prayed up. Shalom.